Number 19. What are the types of radiation emitted by the nuclei of radioactive elements? Okay. So, basically, this question is a concept question where it just we just want to list all the different types of radiation that can be possibly emitted by such radioactive elements. Now, if you are emitting something, you might see this word in your quizzes or tests in terms of maybe alpha emission, beta emission, positron emission, right? If something is emitted or undergoing an emission, that means that your uh, radiation, whatever it is, is always going to be on the product side. So for all of these that we're going to be going through, all the different types of radiation, those particles or those radiation, right, the, the rays, will be on the product side. Now, just know that there are two types of radiation that nuclei of radioactive elements can go through. Now, there is your particle emissions, And then there are your, I guess we'll say, radiation emissions, where these are on your electromagnetic spectrum. They have nothing to do with protons or neutrons. But if you're talking about particles, these are going to change your elements. Or, you know, your neutrons or your protons, depending on what is being emitted. So there's many different types of particle emissions, which we'll get into, but there's only one type of real radiation emission. So this is non-particle based. And the only one that is non-particle based is gamma radiation, or we call it gamma rays. We call it a gamma ray because it's not a particle. A gamma ray, if we did write it out in nuclear notation, it would be that Y, right? That fancy little Greek Y, but it has no atomic number and no atomic mass because it's part of your electromagnetic spectrum. So gamma rays can be emitted, which means that if you do have a, you know, radioactive element, let's just say that it's, you know, carbon 14, and if it's radioactive, maybe we'll put a star here. If your gamma ray is being emitted, it's a Y value. It doesn't change the element. The element will not be changed. It just turns into the more stable form of, in this case, carbon-14. So that's one type of emission. So the only non-particle one is your gamma rays. So that's one of them. Now let's go back and talk about um, all your particle emissions. And keep in mind that, you know, your emissions, that radioactive piece has to be on the product side. So when we do all of our particle emissions, those uh, types of radiation should be on the product side. Now, there's a few of them, right? Can you think of any? Well, we could do alpha emission. That means that when you have some type of radioactive piece of information, right, or not piece of information, but a radioactive element, it will emit or release, we could always think of that as a release, into an alpha particle. And an alpha particle is secretly a helium. It's a helium that has a four atomic number on the top and two a four atomic mass on the top and a two atomic number on the bottom. An alpha particle is always going to be a helium. So if you do, you know, start off with carbon 14, which I believe, one, two, three, four, carbon has an atomic number of six, this will completely change your element because the tops have to equal the tops on both the left and the right side. So this would have to be, uh, who is this? This is going to be a 10 on the top and a four on the bottom. And who is four? One, two, three, four. Who's that, beryllium? I think, right? It goes hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium. So there you go. Um, so 
this is basically what you have to focus on. For this question, at least. So one of your emissions is an alpha emission, where you will be releasing a helium as your products. Another one is beta emission. Beta emission is the same thing as talking about an electron. So you will be releasing an electron as your product. So whether you put a beta here or an electron, that's fine with me. So maybe we'll put a beta. Beta has a zero, negative one. It's really important to memorize these radioactive particles uh, because it's going to be much easier when you, you know, start balancing your um, equations and such. But even if we do the same thing, carbon, right, 14 on the top, I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing out random examples here. The 14 will stay on the top, but now this will turn into a 7. And who's next to carbon? It's nitrogen. So that's another one. So now we have three. We could do alpha particles that are emitted, beta particles, gamma rays, and let's see, we have the opposite of a beta emission, which is positron. Positr positron emission. This is basically an anti-electron, where you would still use the same notation, and it's still being admitted, so the B is going to be on the, on the product side, but instead of being a negative one on the bottom, it's going to be a plus one, and a zero on the top. So in this case, if we did have the same carbon, the atomic mass wouldn't change, but now it would be a five because 1 plus 5 has to equal 6. And who is that? Uh, 5? Oh boy, hold on, let's see, who's 5th? Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron. There we go. And this is a positron. And we're running out of room a little bit here, but there's just know that there's one more, and I think if I can... Let's just move this guy up. There you go. One more. It is your neutron emission. Where if you have, let's just do carbon 14 and a 6 on the bottom. Neutrons is lowercase n. It has no charge, but it's still part of the atomic mass, so you get a 1 up on top. And that is your neutron notation. And just remember that, oop, not a proton, Christina, neutron. And then 13 on the top and a 6 on the bottom, so that would be still carbon. Definitely memorize your different types of emission, and this is all five of them. So you can either run through your four particles that can be you know, thrown into the environment. Once these are all emitted, these are going into the environment, right? So you got helium particles or alpha particles. You got beta particles, aka electrons. You got the anti-electron, which is positrons, and you can release some neutrons. But the most problematic is the one that's not even a particle at all. It's the gamma ray. So this is the most destructive radioactive emission of them all. Um, but yeah, Fun times. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to helping you with more questions. We just started memberships on the channel. So if you want to become a member and help us out a little bit more, you obviously can, but not obligated. It's not mandatory. So, but you know, thank you for considering. And if you do, you got tons of perks and we got tons of stuff coming out this, this year. So let's get going. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.